If you felt like we're writing a lot of the same code and the same data definitions over and over again, today we're going to start working on avoiding that. We're going to learn about abstraction, how to take common things and make one thing that does all of their jobs at once. This will enable us to write shorter programs, get our jobs done faster, and understand new and powerful techniques for writing better programs. Let's get started. This is a data definition we've seen a bunch so far, a list of numbers. It can either be empty or it can be a cons with a number followed by a list of numbers. We're going to write a couple functions that do very similar things processing a list of numbers. First, we have the add five to all function. It's supposed to add five to every number in a given list of numbers. We're gonna call that list of numbers L. Hopefully, this is the sort of function that we're comfortable with writing at this point. Let's see how that works. First, some examples. Here we have two examples showing what our function does for the empty list and for a list with two elements. I've used list abbreviations here, writing left paren list one, two, instead of using cons explicitly. Now let's write our template. Here's the template for add five to all. Either we have an empty list or we have a cons. If we have a cons, we have the first of the list, which is a number. We have the rest of the list, which is a list of number, and we have our self-reference, so we make a recursive call. In the empty case, we just need to put in the empty list as a result. In the cons case, we have a number and a list of numbers. We know that we've already added five to every number in the rest, so we're not gonna worry about that. We're going to add five to the number that's the first of the list, and then we're going to put this new number together with the result of our recursive call to produce our answer. Now we're done, we can run our program and all our tests will pass. Now let's write another function operating on lists of numbers. This function is very similar. It's gonna add three to all the numbers in the given list. Let's write our template. Now let's write some examples. Here are two examples for our function, very similar to the examples we saw for the previous function. Now let's write our template. Here's our template, looking very similar to the template we saw before. Now let's fill in our function. If L is an empty list, then that's all we need, and we can just produce L. Otherwise, we're going to need to add three to our number, and we're going to need to put our new number together with the result of our recursive call. Now we're done, we can run our program, and all our tests will pass.